Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to install a Telgate Handle backup camera. Now, in this install, we're going to show you how to remove the existing handle, install the camera, run all the wiring, and integrate it to an existing aftermarket radio. Let's get started. Now, as we jump into things, obviously here, we're gonna have to have a kit that replaces the factory bezel up and around the tailgate handle. This is gonna allow us to integrate this new camera. We already have a video on the channel that does a license plate mount, so if you want that alternative, we're gonna link that video down in the description. So, this install applies to Chevy Silverados or GMC Sierra. It's the truck um, generation from about 2007 to 14. So let's head over to the bench to show you the parts that we're gonna need for our install. All right, so here at the bench. Now the kit that we're using is this Ecoconut safe driving kit. Um, it's made specifically for this generation truck. Um, the kit itself comes with a new trim panel that goes up and around the tailgate handle, but this panel integrates the new camera here here, as well as it has a hole for the key slot, which is great. On the back here, it's pretty straightforward. It clips into place after we've removed the old one. Has a little bit of wiring that you'll run through your tailgate, uh, down to the bottom of the tailgate, and then once it passes through underneath the truck, you have your main wiring loom that runs from the tailgate area all the way to your aftermarket radio within the cab. Now, this harness here has a couple of connections. It also comes pre-loomed, which is super cool. And in addition to that, um, it will hook up to any analog connection. So basically any aftermarket radio or aftermarket screen of some kind that you can display an RCA video signal with. Now this harness here comes with a red, black, and purple wire um, on both ends. Purple is gonna be a pass-through. Um, our radio for the trigger wire to trigger the camera to go into reverse mode or the radio to reverse mode when you're backing up is gonna be already generated by our smart harness. So we actually don't need to hook up purple whatsoever in our application today. Because again, we already have an aftermarket radio and that smart harness is taking care of that for us. However, we do need to power the camera. So this needs to go to accessory, the red one, and then obviously we need to ground it. Now you can do all your connections back at the tail light or reverse light, um, or you can do them up in the dash. Because we don't need any sort of trigger wire, we're gonna make our power ground connections simply back behind the radio to power the camera since the trigger is already taken care of. Without further ado, let's go ahead, before we start pulling this all apart, let's start disassembling our tailgate and uh, pull the factory bezel off so we can start fitting up our new aftermarket one. All right, so with the tailgate open, let's start off by removing the three 13 millimeter bolts here on the back of the tailgate. Okay, so we have our new one and our old one. We have to just transfer over the, the key cylinder to the new bezel, and everything else is already equipped here, so we don't have to transfer anything else. Literally, it's just moving this guy over to our new spot. Now, it looks like there's a retaining clip here that we just need to unsnap. Just like that. All right, we got that all seated here. Just took a few minutes to get that retaining clip in. So at this time, we're done with this guy. Let's head back to the truck to get it installed. All right, so we fed our wire up underneath through that hole using that hanger. We fished all the way out. Now, there's really only one access port and it's on the passenger side of this tailgate. You could take off the tailgate and drill. There are drains as well, but the drains are big enough to let the wire pass through. So that was our best solution right here. 
We have that passing on through here. We still have a little length that we can pull through, but now we can lift the tailgate up and finally seat our camera in place. I also uh, installed the two top bolts back into place to secure the handle. The bottom one feeds through this as well, so we kept that one out, but the two top we can tighten back down. So with our camera now installed, we need to talk about a little bit more in detail this harness. It has two ends here. This end plugs in the camera side. This is in the radio side. Again, it has three sets of wires on both ends. You only have to connect one of the ends, just depending on your application. Um, if you didn't want to do power and ground at the radio and just wanted to power the camera just in reverse, you can connect the power, the ground, and the accessory all to the reverse light power and ground, simple as that. However, if you're one that wants to use the camera uh, more than just in reverse, uh, if you wanna check on your load, going down the highway or whatnot, it's really nice to have access to that camera. So we wanna power it when the truck is on, not just in reverse. So um, instead of hooking up this end, since again, our radio has already had the trigger wire taken care of by the smart harness, we're gonna terminate all these ends, seal them off, and we're just gonna use this end instead. We're gonna power a camera off accessory back behind the radio. We're gonna ground the camera back behind the radio. And again, we don't need our trigger wire because it's already being taken care of. So that's our plan here. We're gonna go ahead and not use this end. This end plugs into the camera. We're gonna run this along the frame rail. It's nice that it's already split loomed. We're zip tied along the factory loom up underneath the truck, working our way to all the way up to the cab dash cavity. All right, so we've uh, prepped this harness. We loomed up the wires that we're not using here um, put some heat shrink on it it's all done we also added a little extra loom here and some heat shrink that we're going to put up and over the camera connection just so it's a little more protected from the elements all right so that's kind of about the area where it comes out the tailgate fished up underneath the bed here we went ahead and zip tied along there's some factory loom here now there's our junction that we made uh, we electrical taped the connection and then we put some heat shrink over the top there and then continued our run all the way down, zip tying it. Now you can kind of start to see the major loom right there. So we're going to follow that loom all the way towards the front of the truck. It folds along the driver's side frame rail. So we zip tied there and we continued forward. From here, continued, we just found that loom, continued to run along here and zip tying it. Now this part is the trickiest, generally over the rear axle and uh, from the frame rail, the leaf springs, it's tight, especially with the gas tank right here. So we went atop the frame rail and comes out here um, all the way down and then this is where it comes out. If you don't have a fender well here or a fender cover, you can actually see it from the top here. So we fit it up and over from the tire wheel well, which makes it nice up underneath the bed. Then you can see our hand prints where we were working it through up underneath the bed support. Pull it up and along and it comes out here. Um, and then now it's easy from here on out. Up and over the uh, body support here. Right along that frame rail. Zip tying along that factory loom. Continue it along and finally we've made it to this point where our emergency brake goes up and through the floor. Uh, we're gonna use that same grommet just to sneak our wire through like we've done in past GM vehicles. All right, so we poked a little hole, we used a little razor blade um, and uh, ran our wire through there. Now we'll seal it up with some silicone just so that doesn't leak whatsoever. Ran that along, threw some zip ties, fell along the factory loom here. We went across, just across the bottom of the dash here. Now we gotta fish it up just up into the dash cavity. Okay, so what we've done is we fished our wire up, up through this cavity here, went up and along, and now at this point, we got our harness 
all right here, ready to be connected to the radio. Now we're back here in the truck. Obviously you didn't see us remove this radio, whether it be factory or aftermarket, because we actually already covered that in the first video where we installed our aftermarket radio in the first place. In that video, we show you how to remove the radio, uh, get everything disassembled, and reinstall an aftermarket one in its place. So check that video one out. We'll link it down in the description. All right, so we fit our backup camera wire into the dash here after some work zip tied the extra. Now this end's gonna plug into the camera input on the back of the radio. And then these ends, remember this is power and ground for a camera. We're gonna hook them up to accessories so we can use the camera more than just in reverse. Obviously, it'll cycle over to reverse uh, with the trigger wire created by our smart harness here. Sometimes down the road as we're driving, we wanna check our load or anything behind us. We want the option to jump back to the camera without being in reverse. Hence why we're hooking this up to accessories. So it's only gonna be on when the key is on. Now, when we assembled our harness, we left off the red and the black wire, which is just teed in or in parallel to our smart harness red and black. Um, and that's gonna make it nice and easy. Now, alternatively, you can always tap into the red and the black wire of your power socket here, as long as it's on accessory power or only on when the key is on, that certainly is an option. Now, crimp in our power and ground for the camera. Let's go ahead now and reassemble our radio. Let's go ahead and test our backup camera. Now, before you jump into things with your backup camera, always double check the settings, make sure it's on, ours is set to battery, that everything looks looking good. So if we just go ahead and put it in reverse, there we are. Not a bad image there. Sorry, once again, we got some glare here. Pull it out of reverse, perfect. Now, because we wired it to accessory, if we go to our camera settings here, we can call upon the camera when we're not in reverse and the benefit of that, like mentioned before, we can check our boat or our trailer or the load behind us or even the car behind us to make sure everything is proper. So that's about it for this backup camera video. Like I said before, we do have a license plate version of that. If you wanna see the other alternative video, we'll link that down in the description. If you wanna see how we installed this radio or one like it with the center console, we'll link those videos down in the description along with all the other videos we've done on this series of trucks. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you like what you saw and don't forget to subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time and we'll see you in the next video.